It looks like an ordinary city e-scooter, but in motion promise it's double the fun and double the power. Is that so? And how does the new climber handle our usual stress testing? Let's inspect! Which is the best electric scooter right now? Uh, you would be surprised how many times I'm getting this question. And you know what? The truth is that it doesn't matter what me as a YouTuber, and that's, that's not a very good start, but it's very cold, so probably the brakes are a bit noisier. So it doesn't really matter what YouTubers and reviewers and marketing teams are telling you. What really matters is that you narrow down which are your top priorities about what you need from an electric scooter, and then choose the right one. Uh, of course, this in-motion climber could be one of those really effective, fantastic 2023 solutions because it has dual motor setup, it weighs only 4 kilograms more than the Mi Scooter 4 Pro and promises greater range at almost the same price. So our task is to figure out whether it's really good enough and there's a bunch of testing we're supposed to perform. You can already guess that the closest rival, besides the 4 Pro by Xiaomi, is clearly the Nimod Max 2 and similar series. But it's a fact that there are very few dual motor offerings on the market right now, and this is exactly why the climber is so tempting and exciting. So far, it all looks good, but we know that what really matters is everything outside the scope of the marketing promises, therefore we unbox. In motion climber arrives very well packed and there's generously a lot of protection around the scooter itself. Haven't seen such a well-made box in a while. I actually thought that pulling it up is gonna work fine, but eventually reconsider it. And it is of course much easier to pull the cardboard up instead. There are a few accessories included. I find them very generous as well. In fact, in motion also give you two spare inner tubes and that's fantastic. The model Climber is advertised as something you can easily maintain, so that makes good sense. Setup from this point on is fairly simple. Get rid of the protective layers, double check the joints, mount the handlebar, attach the stand. I was a bit surprised it is not pre-installed, but so be it. Perhaps it's because of the packaging and all that you need to do is to tighten two screws. For the tires, you're going to find this extended air valve. Kudos to InMotion about including such a valuable accessory. So make sure to check the tire pressure and the charge if needed. But that's it. Well, besides the activation through the smartphone app, which I'm pretty sure is going to annoy some people. Because it is yet one more step to complete prior to riding. What you may immediately notice is the very good build quality and the attention to each and every detail of the scooter. Quality materials meet thoughtful design. The scooter is made of aircraft-grade aluminium, which makes it sturdy and durable. The deck of the scooter is wide and spacious, providing ample space for the rider to stand comfortably. And the construction can handle up to 130 kg payload, that's about 30% more than most other city electric scooters. Sounds like we already are halfway through the most important specifications, so let's carry on and note down the dual 750 watt motors. There's a 533 watt hour battery feeding this beast. Top speed is 25 km per hour or 25 miles per hour, depending on the region where you're based at. Dual motor brakes plus independent rear disc brake. Ability to handle slopes up to 36%. Modular design of the wheels so that you can easily replace the pneumatic 10 inch tires. IP56 body waterproof rating and IPX7 rating for the battery. There is Bluetooth, respectively a smartphone app. And weight of the scooter is only around 21 kilograms. We have to admit it, these specifications sound great, but you know that it's not necessary great specifications to convert into really fantastic real-life performance. And this is why I would like to address a few of the topics that we can analyze beyond the numbers. First of all, yes, the key highlight, having a dual motor setup, is of extreme importance because it gives you better acceleration and it's also going to let you climb steeper hills much easier. In motion promise acceleration from 0 to 25 km per hour for within three and a half seconds, which is crazy good. And we gotta verify whether it's close to the reality or not. Besides having good acceleration, you also count on more reliable braking because that's dual electric braking system together with the mechanical brake that you have on the rear wheel as well. In terms of battery, the capacity is unbelievably high. 
and the weight is not much higher than what we get with uh, the Mi Scooter 4 Pro or the 9V Max 2. The difference is about 4 kilograms. Unfortunately, in favor not of the climber. Uh, as for construction, I can only say good words about it. Very reliable folding mechanism and very good choice of materials. And I really hope that's going to be really durable. So far it looks and also has a very high waterproof rating. Now there's some more testing left to be done. We want to find out about the acceleration, some challenges with steeper hills. We want to talk about the range and the comfort of riding, so let's carry on with the tests. We prioritize the motor testing first because this is the key highlight of InMotion Climber. The name speaks for itself. It's going to reach almost any kind of target, no matter how high it is, or at least as long as the slope is no steeper than 36%. This is close to a 20 degree slope, and even with my weight of around 90 kilograms with the backpack, it goes up like charm. On the road back home, where most of other scooters go down to 11 km per hour for Mi Scooter 1 or 17 for Mi Scooter 4 Pro or around 19 for 9 Max 2, InMotion Climber is able to maintain 23 at dynamic mode, which is theoretically the slower mode. In sports mode it's about the same and furthermore you're going to reach the maximum speed allowed in Europe for a bit more than 3 seconds and you even have the option of disabling the kickstart and accelerate from a steel point. Two remarks to mention here, with the current firmware I found no way to switch to a single motor mode, which practically makes good sense because you won't get any advantage in single motor mode regardless range or acceleration concerned. The other thing that I noticed is that you cannot switch to a different riding mode while the scooter is in motion, but putting these two remarks aside, this is the best motor setup of a city e-scooter I can think of right now. The battery endurance is also one of InMotion Climber's key strengths. I was beyond 25 km covered in sports mode with plenty of stop and go occasions because this fast acceleration is too pleasing, you know, and there still was quarter of the battery capacity left. Meaning that a 90 kg rider can cover at least 30 km per charge with aggressive riding even at low temperatures in the winter. And if you do more tricks to save energy, like not maxing out the top speed or using the cruise control more often, and taking advantage of momentum when going downhill, you're likely going to reach nearly 40 km per charge. Good moment to underline that the battery is very well sealed and in motion promise that it is IPX7 waterproof. Charging time is approximately 9 hours. Going further with the testing, tires look good, they're pneumatic, they have inner tubes. You have two spares, they are thicker than usual, but still, what we want to see more often now in 2023 are tubeless setups. You can convert on your own, of course. Good news is that the motor has a detachable cable, making it very easy to replace the tires and in motion offer a video tutorial with the necessary steps. I doubt it's gonna take you just 10 minutes as they promise, but it is still a lot easier as compared to the first generation of Miss Scooters, for instance. In terms of safety, almost perfect braking system, two electronic motor brakes and mechanical disc brake on the rear, which equals reliability. A wide deck, covered with rubber, very well-mounted fenders, excellent folding mechanism, I tried hard to find more weak spots, but there ain't much to criticize. Even the handlebar is nicely done, and I was just planning to say that the display is not that well visible, but it actually is, and it's not any worse than the current Mi Scooter displays. The only part which is hard to distinguish is about the riding mode, because it uses dark blue color. If it is too bright outside, you can't see whether you're in pedestrian mode, in dynamic or in sports mode. The grips are also extra strong, so that if the scooter falls sideways, it won't take any of the typical with bikes damage. You also count on a smartphone app. Besides activation of the scooter, it can also lock it, change some of the controls, report a lot of parameters about the battery and motor health, and even perform firmware updates. Plus, quite a nice looking user interface. Before the wrap-up, here's my compilation with improvement suggestions and this time I'm gonna ask InMotion to think about addition with tubeless tires, provide an unlocked version in terms of speed for the European region and maybe think about an option for quick charging because 9 hours seems to be quite a lot of time in most cases. 
So if you wonder whether you should get this electric scooter or not, I would say yes, go for it, buy it, because I'm confident to recommend that this is an excellent piece of e-scooter for 2023. It's a lot more fun than most of the Mi scooters and the 9 Bot Max because of a dual motor setup, which enables you to accelerate from 0 to 25 kilometers per hour within just three and a half seconds. And I can promise to you, it feels amazing. Other than that, uh, obviously I couldn't test the durability in uh, long term, but given the grade of the components, given the very good construction in the overall structure, I believe this would qualify for very decent longevity and is going to serve you well in the long run. So that's everything about the InMotion Climber. An electric scooter which I believe is one of the perfect choices for 2023 because of the very good waterproof rating, because of the ability to replace the tires in case you need to, and because of this super fun dual motor setup. Uh, interesting to hear about your opinion, so you can join me in the comments down below the video, and as usual, link to the product, more information about it, and some ways to support the channel, you're gonna find it in the video description area. It's been such a pleasure to see you around, and in case you like the idea of seeing more cool tech inspections, please subscribe to my channel and support it, and I'll see you soon, bye.